Hello and welcome to our video preview of Adobe Photoshop CS6 Beta brought to you by Software Metropolis at uh, www.softwaremetropolis.com also our blog www.softwaremetropolis.com slash blog in, in this video tutorial I'm just going to go over a quick overview and preview of Adobe Photoshop CS6 Beta uh, the official has not come out yet but uh, Adobe does have a better version that you can download uh, and, and try and I think you can also use the full version uh, so here it is and you can download it at labs.adobe.com slash technologies slash photoshop cs6 so here we go this is the new Adobe Photoshop CS6 as you can see the user interface is a bit different it's uh, kind of a grayish black which looks really nice uh, we have all the tools from the previous Adobe Photoshop's we have the color, the swatches and the layers, channels and paths so everything looks you know fairly similar to the previous Adobe Photoshop's except for the color of the user interface and we have you know a few things here timeline and mini bridge um, so in this preview I'm not going to go over anything too complex and we're just going to minimize this here um, we do not want to launch the bridge so we're going to close Okay. and if we need to get that we can just probably go to view and get the bridge again uh, but I, I won't be using the bridge in, in, this, in this preview uh, what I did do is I got a picture from DeviantArt of a flying cat and with this I'm just gonna change the style a little bit of the picture and add some text uh, just so you get a preview of Adobe Photoshop CS6 so I have the flying cat on my desktop so I'm gonna click here flying cat go over Photoshop and just paste it in there copy it in there so it's flying cat 28 by heytap beerkak jpeg from deviantart and let's see if I can close this tab as well okay perfect so we just have a little more space in this area okay so just fairly simple I'm just gonna change um, just add the style to it uh, again it's very similar to all the if not the same to the previous um, the previous photoshops so I'm gonna go to st stylize and um, Actually, let's see. Filter. Let's go to the filter gallery. This this allows me to get more of a um, real time preview of how it's going to look. So again, it's not going to be anything too crazy, but maybe just to see if we can give it some cool um, feature here. We don't want it. Too. It's already in black and white, so we don't want to make it too crazy. Mm. We could do something like glowing flying cat. Thanks for bearing with me. I just I guess I get to take a little time in the creative process. Ooh, that looks kind of cool. Alright, we're going to go with this. It's a chalk and charcoal. Okay. So let's click OK, and our flying cat is now chalk and charcoal. Alright, so now I'm going to add some text. So I go to the text icon over here, and uh, let's see. Okay, ah, okay, it just took a little moment to load. I got a little impatient there. We just need the text layer, and we're gonna put a text here. We're gonna call it "Flying Cat." Flying Cat. Okay. And let's just change the color of that. Let's make it. We can make it a little bigger flying cat and change the font uh, let's 
see. Find a nice font for it. Uh, that first font was okay. It kind of uh, align automatically aligns to the left and the right. Flying cat, and I'm just going to change the color to a. Let's see, we should do a red. like uh, the better version isn't allowing me to do color. Let's uh, check out blending options. That'd be kind of funny if, uh, if that were the case. like to show you color, but uh, I guess the better version doesn't allow for color. Either that or I'm missing something. Because uh, when I select color, it doesn't um, allow me to do color. Which doesn't really make much sense to me at the moment. Alright, well... That is the video tutorial. We have a flying, I'll put it right over here, flying cat. Alright, so that's pretty much it. I'm going to look into the color thing. Um, don't know why I'm not able to as I go over the, some of these colors it's just black and white so not sure if that's a better thing but uh, yeah it looks good and all right so just mostly it's just a preview of the user interface and how it looks and uh, I'm trying to get this kind of perfect here Maybe I put it kind of a perfectionist. Oh, that looks good. There we go. Flying cat. And then let's say we want to save it for the web. Save for web. And we will save it as a PNG 24 and 300 by 300 pixels. Looks good. And save. And I'll save it to the desktop. Save. Uh, revised. So that's the video tutorial. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, visit www.softwaremetropolis.com uh, for more information on our website. Uh, we buy your software and we pay you as well. Um, so it's a place where you can sell your software and get paid. We purchase Adobe software and Microsoft software, uh, Adobe CS5, Adobe CS5.5, and when it comes out, Adobe CS6. Um, we pay you right away, and um, yep, we, we make
make sure everything is smooth and um, yeah so if you, if you want to check out the website uh, check it out and if you have software we'd be happy to purchase it from you okay thank you and have a great day bye